we have liftoff, go Super Heavy, go Starship. October 13th, a Starship Mega Rocket roars off the launch pad in Texas. The Eagles get you downrange. 2025 brought both success and stumbles with several SpaceX Starship test flights exploding mid-flight. But NASA needs Starship to one day carry Artemis III astronauts to a lunar landing. Before that can happen, however, Artemis II will launch in 2026. Victor, Christina, Jeremy, we're going to the moon. <laughs> Commander Reed Weissman, pilot Victor Glover, mission specialist Christina Cook, and Canadian astronaut Jeremy Hansen. A 10-day mission taking the crew further from Earth than any human has ever traveled. And a close flyby of the other side of the moon. We hope it's not the dark side. We hope it's the lit <laughs> far side, because that could mean that we could see parts of the moon that never have had human eyes lay upon them before. They will be the first astronauts to travel so close to the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. Meanwhile, for two astronauts whose 10 day mission to the space station lasted nearly 10 months. And splash down, crew nine back on Earth. 2025 brought a much anticipated homecoming for Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. What's it like to be home? Wonderful. Awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> But as NASA sets its sights on a lunar landing within three years, America has competition. China plans to land its own astronauts on the moon by 2030. Now a new space race. Whoever gets there first, the moon could be a springboard to Mars. And new astronaut Anna Menon can't wait. I can hardly believe it myself, you know. What a time in human spaceflight that that is even possible. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.